Hi there, Sue Johnson here with Wake Up and Live with the Arts. And we are here uh, to welcome another featured guest uh, for today's edition. You will recognize Darnell Weaver from our previous show. And now we have a new rainy guest. And as good as I am at pronunciation, I am not going to try this. Would you pronounce your name for us, please? My name is Gop. Uh, my real name is Nalimon Tamapriksa. Uh, so it's quite long. <laughs> yes, and the the um, syllabication and the, the the verb the the consonant. No, the I'm trying to say vowels. <laughs> you know, are are interesting. Yeah. So, and I also understand that it's more gop than cop. Yes, go. Go. Yes. It sounds like something that you do like a fish. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Actually, go means a frog. Oh, oh no! Yes, a frog. <laughs> so, uh, do you and Darnell, who is now the head of dance, work together here at Rainey? Uh, not yet. Not directly. Not directly. Yes. Okay. I work more in the the art room. In the art room. In the art room. Okay. And what do you do in the art room? So um, I trying to. Um, come up with some activities combined with the arts and storytelling and mm -hmm. also theater. So try to get the kids to move and, and, and use art as a tool to tell story. Oh, okay. Uh, let me be, uh, get a little more clarification. When you say use the arts, can you be a little more specific about what kind of art are you um, referring to? Mostly drawing, and maybe we will do some sculpture. Oh, okay. And you build that into storytelling and theater work. Yes. How did you get started and interested in um, that aspect of the performing arts? Mm. I started with doing theater work, and um, I worked with um, many artists from many different countries, especially in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So I used to found the International Wow Company where um, there are many people from uh, Indonesia, Thailand, I Japan, uh, Taiwan, and from America. So we have been working for several years after um, we stopped the company. And then I became more into um, community work uh, started by my teacher who is Cleveland native Cleveland okay but over in uh, Thailand uh, yes she came to Thailand okay. actually she taught at Smith College at the time Wow uh -huh. and she came to Thailand to teach there for two years so mm -hmm. I became her assistant I was her student before and then she inspired me to do community work so we what's that word again um, Com community Community. Com community. 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 Oh, community. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for being here to help translate. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so um, we work, um, we call like, a, I don't know how you call it in English, perhaps like um, community crossover. Community crossover. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, we work at um, Leprosy Rehabilitation Center where lots of elders living there. So we use uh, some kind of creative dance to get people to move. Yes. And, and yeah, you know that leprosy sometimes they shine because they have like skin disease. So oh, leprosy. Leprosy. Is, this, is that still uh, prominent? Uh, uh, yes, still. Wow. I mean like that 20 uh -huh. years ago, but now uh, the number is smaller. Mm -hmm. But at that time, those people who had that uh, disease, the, they became elders at that time. like. 70s, 80s. Yes. So we get them to to move to explore themselves. So they started to open more, and also we work at um, uh, we call uh, the New Life Center. New Life Center. Where yes. the uh -huh. former uh, prostitute, uh, like young, very young prostitute, they got um, mm -hmm. arrested by the police because, um, but before they were sold by their parents mm. to work in prostitution. Prostitu and slave yeah. trade and sex trade. Yes. Good heavens, yes. I know it's on the news, but you've actually had firsthand experience yes. with that. So um, Amy started this project, so we met many girls who really like closed their body mm -hmm. and afraid of uh, seeing people. 
and we trying to get them move and then at the end they kind of more open yes. so we see their body mm -hmm. kind of like a rose in bloom yes. you know blossoming and blooming and so forth yes yeah and then after that i became more interested in storytelling mm -hmm. um i uh, worked with dan kuang um, an autobiographical writer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. performer from mm -hmm. uh, santa, santa monica Santa Monica, California, yes. right yes. here. Okay. So um, we work, um, um, he came to Thailand sometimes to teach. So I came to LA sometimes. So we work in several projects and I got some kind of uh, learning from him. So I became using uh, storytelling in my own way mm -hmm. because the Asian people, they are very shy. Mm -hmm. yes. So they don't uh -huh. like to talk about themselves. So I have to turn their story and blend them together and mm -hmm. became like another story. Well, like I asked Darnell about how he got started at Inspired. Oh. How, oh. how is it that, yeah. well, first of all, how did you end up here at Rainey Institute um, to work with folks yeah. like Darnell? But we will be working. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yes. <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, because of Dan, he makes an uh, introduction mm -hmm to the Cleveland Foundation. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, contact and then to make an application. And I think um, the, the institution chose me, not I chose them, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I came here. That's like every year uh, we interview uh, mm -hmm. special guests who are from foreign countries because yes. of the Cleveland Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we yes. had several from Rainey, from uh, the artists who have done, I guess, a yeah. guest artist residency here. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. How yes. long will you be um, in residence here? From September to um, November. Okay. And there are six of us from different countries. Oh my, are they, are all of them here at Not Rainy? At Rainy. No, at but Rainy. they are in, in the country. Right. Yes. Okay. But, uh, and in different mm -hmm. organizations. Yeah, mm -hmm. in Cleveland, they're here in Cleveland. Yeah. But okay. They're just at different organizations. Just Right. We were blessed to get GOP. To get GOP. <laughs> she works wonderful with the children. I, I would imagine. <coughs> I uh -huh. have not seen, you know, the children take to uh, a guest artist like they've taken to her. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's so evident that she cares, which is why they relate and they take to her now. We mm -hmm. haven't right. done mm -hmm. work together, but she has come into my class mm -hmm. and sat and observed and maybe helped. Just her presence there is more mm -hmm. calm and peaceful presence, you know? Yes. And, and I am looking forward to doing work with her. We've talked about doing stuff and what we can do as, you know, putting stories mm -hmm. with the mass M and Music and yeah. art and so forth. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. now would she work with Elsa Stemma also while she's here, or is that something separate? Oh, you will yes, be, yes. are already, yes. whatever. Yes. Yeah. And so today will be my class. <laughs> oh, okay. And um, you're from Thailand. Which city or area in Thailand? I come from Chiang Mai, Chiang the northern Mai? of okay. Thailand. Okay, because I've seen, all I watch is HGTV and they have international mm. um, ho home searches and mm. Thailand is so beautiful. <laughs> Were you there when that horrible tsunami mm. came through? Uh, yes, yes, but um, because Chiang Mai is in the north, so uh -huh. it's more like mountain area, mm -hmm. but mm. in the southern, it's more like beach. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's not affected by tsunami. But well, of that's course, uh, excellent. That's great. Yeah, because yeah, that mm. was such a devastating event. Mm. And I, are there still um, vestiges of mm. the tsunami in that part of the country? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's um, a big trauma for many people in our country still. Oh my. Yeah. I guess that's kind of like mm -hmm. Katrina mm -hmm. down in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. that there's still vestiges going on down mm -hmm. there. Yeah. How long, once you finish your residency here, how long will you uh, be in the Cleveland area? Where do you go from here? I just go back uh, straight to Thailand. Okay. And when you get there, what will you be doing? Um, I am now doing my PhD on uh, his <laughs> study. <laughs> so I, ho I hope I, I could doing something to finish. <laughs> How long have you been working on it? Oh. 
many years many already. Years. <laughs> now, for mm -hmm. your project, will you write um, a thesis or will you do a performance piece? Um, is or it's combination mostly writing something? Uh -huh. But I want to combine theater and piece. Yes, seeing how mm -hmm. theater can can do for making peace or building peace. It's it's still ongoing research. Uh, yes, and that's what Darnell and I were talking about in mm. terms of music transcending yeah. all the problems mm. in the world and out of that comes peace and theater, yeah. of course, uh, helps build peace. Yeah. What, um, what kind of stories do you like to tell? Um, it's mostly, I like to hear people's story. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, but their personal experiences? Yeah, personal experience. Mm -hmm. And I think um, life experience is much more dramatic than, I mean, the, 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 the yes. fantasy. Yes. <laughs> so I like to hear how people um, go um, beyond their um, experience mm -hmm. and cope with uh, even the like, bad experience or their trauma. Sure. So, so I think those stories are very rich and powerful mm -hmm. and it's really encouraged people to move on. Did you have your own personal story of overcoming, surviving mm. um, a situation and then overcoming uh, that particular situation yeah. that you'd like to share with folks to help inspire um, them with uh, their story mm. building? Um, I think every one of us has those stories, all those sure. small uh -huh. or big. But mm. for me, I don't have like a great trauma or something. but. Everyday trauma is really <laughs> affect me a lot. Yeah, there's an obstacle to overcome. Yes, yeah. always, always. Especially a, a lot of childhood um, difficulties, of yes. course. Yes. Uh, I, I have to think about it. <laughs> well, it's nice yeah. if you haven't had anything yeah. traumatic enough to um, affect you for you know long mm. periods afterwards. Mm. One of the things about our country is Mm -hmm. The way our country is these days with, um, mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I better be careful, but it seems like every mm -hmm. other day there's an incident where a cop has been accused mm -hmm. of killing a black, young black person, mm -hmm. and seemingly with little provocation, if mm -hmm. any. And so... Little provocation and little consequence, if mm -hmm. any. Well, that's true, too. Mm -hmm. And that is why I hate watching the news. You were talking mm -hmm. about social media. Mm -hmm. The only news I really see is on mm -hmm. the internet. What is that? My home page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see yeah. snippets, you know, mm -hmm. on the home page, mm -hmm. because um, it's just so ugly mm -hmm. out here in the real world. And theater mm -hmm. and music transcend the real mm -hmm. world ugly, mm -hmm. um, and help, like you say, help bring uh, peace. Yeah. You know? Okay. What is your thesis? Uh, uh, it's not called a thesis. It's your um, uh, dissertation. dissertation. Dis yes. What is the topic or title or mm. the principal parts of your um, the, uh, dissertation? Um, yeah, before going that, because you say that, I just remember of my own story okay. <laughs> that I want to share. Okay. <laughs> um, when it was like in. Uh, elementary school, yes. I drive a um, bicycle past the, the, the hospital yes. and I saw like a man beat, um, beat uh, a woman and she, she was a nurse, mm -hmm. like in the, like a nurse. Nurse's club. outfit, ensemble, and yes. I was like, this is in the middle of the intersection and in front of uh, the hospital mm -hmm. and how come she got beaten? Yes. And no one helped her mm. because I got stuck at the uh, traffic light. Many cars and many motorcycles, many mm -hmm. bicycles. And everyone looked at her. No one helped. So I came back home. I cried, cried, cried. I feel I was so powerless. Mm -hmm. Powerless. I couldn't do anything. So I think that really inspired me to do something about women. Yes. And most of my work, not, yeah, I'll, yeah, most one of the big issues in my work is about women issues. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to empower women and get them uh, voice to speak. So the storytelling is part of that too. I was invited to Taiwan several times, uh, uh, two, three times, yes, to teach workshop yes. and 
collect their stories and turn it into a place. So the first one was about um, uh, when the story come, I find out the theme later. And the theme was the f of the first time was about um, relationship between man and woman. Uh, the man wants to go back to China to work, but at the same time, the woman take care of the family. So they kept asking, why not me going there and yes. uh, uh -huh. make money for the family? And so it's kind of two story intertwined, intertwined. Yes. Yeah. Uh, between uh, relationship man and woman and love-hate relationship between Taiwan and China. Mm. So the second time was about um, all women. Uh, we have like eight, uh, eight uh, actors. Mm -hmm. So I get them to tell story and then we came up with some kind of history. So I asked them what is the history of Taiwan. So they told me one, uh, their own version of history. So I said, why don't you go back and find a history book? So they borrow, borrow their children's storybooks. Okay. So they came up with another version of history because it was written by Taiwanese scholars. Mm. Okay. And then I asked them to go back and interview their parents or grandparents. Mm -hmm. So they came up with another version of stories. And then we went to see uh, where um, the Chinese people came to Taiwan and uh, which uh, harbors and how the original people were pushed up to the mountain. Mm. Okay. So, um, and then I wrote a play called Sound of the Oceans. It's kind of history told, retold in the mouth of all women. Oh, that so is it's so exciting and <laughs> fascinating yeah. that, um, that your culture too is working mm -hmm. with empowering mm -hmm. yeah. women because yeah. our culture is still dealing with empowering yeah. women. Mm -hmm. because it's universal, yeah. It is universal, and I'm so sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. you know? But yeah. I'm not sick of the, the time that we have spent because it's drawing mm -hmm. to a close. And I want to thank you and, of course, Darnell again for being our guest and sharing your wonderful stories, oh, very you. inspiring, and how you are working with the Rainey uh, group to do more creativity because this is a highly creative institution. I mean, yeah, the is. imagination and just bringing out folks, um, you know, all their ingenuousness and ingenuity, like mm -hmm. pandemonium. <laughs> you know? So we want to thank you uh, for joining us. We want to hope that you continue to have a very happy experience here yeah. at um, Almost said Caramu. Yep. I almost did. Rainy Institute. <coughs> and you and Darnell have a lot of work to do before yes. November. Yeah. Because it'll be here in just a minute, the way life is going. Yeah. So thanks to GOP. I'm not going to try that name. <laughs> and Darnell Weaver for joining us on this edition of Wake Up and Live with the Arts. And once again, we like to close our show as we usually do with be sure to wake up and live with the arts every day. See you soon.